Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. My name is Matthew and today I am here to talk to you about the Sabbath state. What it is, where the term came from and how you can find yourself in it. So stick around to the end to find out everything you need to know. But before we get into that, if you are in need of my help to get you creating your perfect life, check the links down below in the comment section or the description. They'll take you to my website and from there you can sign up for my email coaching packages. With that said, let's get into this video. The term Sabbath state was coined by Neville Goddard. Based on my own experiences and those of others who I have spoken to who have experienced the Sabbath state, that was a mouthful, the Sabbath state is a state of bliss. It is a state of calm and it is a state of knowing that your desire is yours and cannot be derailed. You've done your affirming, your scripting, your visualizing, your living from the end to a point where you feel like you no longer need to. You feel this calm within you. You feel this bliss. Your subconscious mind has been impressed and nothing can stop it from happening. You know that your desire is yours. You go about your life living like normal, knowing that your desire is yours and nothing can stop it from coming. More often than not, along with doing all of your stuff to get to your desired end, you've been working on self-concept. So you can still go about your life knowing that you are worthy of this desire coming to you, knowing that you deserve nothing but the best, including your desire, knowing that regardless of what happens, you'll be fine and you can go about your life living in this calm state. You've done the work to impress it and you know that you're worthy of it, so there's no reason for it not to come. You don't need to continue looking, you don't need to continue chasing and you are just in this state of, yep, this is mine, nothing can stop it. I feel calm, I feel collected, I feel bliss. I look at things and I'm like, yep, this is my reality. I exist within the reality where this is happening and nothing can stop that from happening. Another great indication that you are in the Sabbath state, apart from what I've just said a second ago, is you've practiced forgiveness and moving on. I've had a couple of people come to me now actually saying, I've done my affirmations, I've done all of this, that and the other. I now don't feel I need to do it anymore. I feel like it's already mine. I feel like it's all great, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, great, that's a good sign. And then they'll follow it up with, so once they apologize, then we can start looking at like becoming a great couple. Once they've done this, then we can blah, blah, blah. Once they understand that they've hurt me, then we can blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, that, that, that's an, an oxymoron. You cannot possibly hold on to the old story and then expect to be in the Sabbath state. And then they're like, well, what do you mean? How am I holding on to the old story? In your new story, the one of loving relationship, the one of career, the one of whatever it is that you're manifesting, you are in the desired end, which means in theory, you would have already moved on from the apologies from like all of that kind of stuff. You would have already moved on from that and let that go in order for you to be here. So if you're saying once they've apologized, once that they felt the pain that I felt, once that they understand how I felt, then we can move on. You are operating in two stories. You are looking at the old story and saying, once this has all been fixed, then we can move on to here. And then all of your affirmations or whatever will be of this new story. The Sabbath state is a calm, blissful knowing that your desire is yours. You can look out into the world, no matter what happens, like whether it's something that goes against your desires, whether it's something that goes for it, you know that it's all good and that you're still going to get your desire. So being in this calm, collected place, this is an inner knowing, this is a subconscious knowing, this is a feeling of this is already done, this is your subconscious mind basically taking the reins to say, look, we're all good, it's created, you're on your way there basically. But saying once they've apologized and all that, that is an egoic mindset, that is a lackful mindset, that is the complete wrong place in order to be. You should be able to look at anything that shows you the opposite of what you want or any kind of circumstance and say, doesn't matter, my desire is on its way. That is the Sabbath state. So once you let the old story completely die, you don't need the apology, you don't need them to understand, you don't need any of that because you know that you already have this future ahead of you with them, that is when the room can be made for the Sabbath state. And then from my own experiences, and like I said earlier, that of other people who have experienced it, quite often from the Sabbath state comes your desire within a reasonably quick time frame. Cannot promise that for everyone, but a lot of the times when I felt that calm bliss of knowing that it's happening or happened or yeah, happening happened, it comes super quick. 
it comes within a reasonably good, or at least movement within the area that I want to have movement, for example. But that is all once I've dropped the old story and allowed the new one to be created. So move on. Practice forgiveness. Practice gratitude. Practice just taking a breath and knowing that it doesn't matter what all happened because you know that your desire is on its way or is already happening. If you've enjoyed this video so far and I've given you some ideas going forward, like, comment, subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And let's go on to this final point. And finally, one thing I do want to point out is that the Sabbath state is just pretty much a state prior to getting your manifestation. The Sabbath state isn't necessarily the goal here. The goal is obviously, as it always is, your desired end. The Sabbath state is just a state that people can operate and take comfort in knowing that they're sort of on the right track. So the way to get into the Sabbath state is exactly the same way that you get your desired end. And you definitely shouldn't be trying to get into the Sabbath state. You should notice it when you're there because then you can take comfort in knowing that you're right around the corner, you've done everything right, and it's kind of like a place where you can take, not take the foot off the pedal per se, but you can just know that you don't need to worry. And obviously that's part of it, not worrying, not questioning. But the Sabbath state essentially is the calm before the storm, except that in this situation, the storm is a good thing because it's your desired end. It's your reality being what you want it to be. So don't aim to get into the Sabbath state. However, to get your desired end and to get into the desired state, uh, sorry, to the Sabbath state, get deeply clear on what it is that you want to manifest, whatever it is that the reality that you want to exist within. Then create scenes that imply that you are already this. You might be rich, you might have your person, you might have the house that you want. Create scenes based on your technique. If you like affirming, create affirmations. If you're scripting, create scripts. If you like visualizing, create visual scenes, whatever. Create these things that imply that you are already that which you want to be. And then continue to persist in the end of knowing that that is your life. Do your visualizations, do your inner conversations, do your affirmations. Know that you are that person. Operate as though it is already yours and feel the fulfillment. Bring your future to the now by putting focus on it as though you're already living it. Feel into it. Feel the experience as though it is already happening. The emotions, emotions aren't necessary, but it does help. What kind of emotions would you be feeling? What kind of things would you be thinking? How would you act? How would you feel? What would be going on? And then identify as that person, create that identity for yourself and then occupy it. All while doing this, work on your self-concept, get yourself to a point where you know that it's inevitable for you to have these desires because of how amazing you are. Just know that it's inevitable for you to have these desires because you're worthy and deserving of having them. And it's just obvious because of who you are that you're going to get these things. And then finally, you just drop the old story. Let it die. Let it piss off. It, it isn't necessary. Even if law of assumption didn't exist and the law didn't, you know, even if it didn't, and you were operating from an action-based 3D world where you actually do have to do everything in the 3D to get your desires, Holding on to old crap won't help you. So in either place, whether it's no law of assumption or the law and there is the law, neither of them occupy a place in which holding on to the old story benefits you. So drop it. Drop this victim mentality. Drop needing validation from the 3D in, in both ways. Because a lot of the times as humans, we for some reason like to play the victim. So a lot of the time you will hold on to the old story because it validates your victimhood. Let that go and let go of needing, let go of wanting, let go of chasing, let go of looking, let go of questioning, let go of wondering. Let it all go and continue to reside within your desired end and continue to reside within your new self-concept. And all of these things added together, which are a lot more simple than I've made it sound, they will create your reality. And as part of that, you will experience it or more than likely will experience a Sabbath state. I do want to point out the Sabbath state doesn't always happen. You can still get your desires without having a Sabbath state. There's plenty of examples in my life where I haven't had the Sabbath state and then it comes. But some people do experience it in big things, small things, medium things. Others might not experience it in the same sort of things. It isn't necessary. So just because you haven't had the Sabbath state within your desire does not mean that it isn't coming. I just wanted to point that out. I probably should have put that earlier on, but hopefully you stuck around to this point and then you'd find that out. So uh, clickbait, kind of. But yeah, so that's how the Sabbath state works. That's where it comes from. That's how you can get into it. That's how 
you can know whether you're into it. I really hope this video has helped. If it has, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and it really helps the channel out, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Trying to get one more handy-pandy. <laughs>